Good evening, Ruskin enjoyers. I hope you're doing all right. It's time for the abnormal barters. As you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five skins to chase after today. But first of all, you're probably wondering, Hedge, what's an abnormal skin? Well, if you were to look in the description right now, you'll see two videos that are there to help you understand what this whole process is. The short video will basically briefly explain everything, but the uh, longer video will go a whole lot more in depth. And, you know, in short, TLDR, some skins will become marketable at an earlier set time. And we want to be there nice and ready to be one of the first people to put down a buy order at a reasonable price. Because we could pick up all of these skins for a much cheaper price and, well, potentially sell them for some delicious looking profits. Yes, indeed. So that's the main approach. That's our intentions. And uh, in this video, we're going to talk about figuring out prices for all the abnormal skins. But we're also going to figure out prices for the regular skins. Yes, these skins are Right here are regular they are not abnormal these will only become marketable when the next rust oil rotates in tomorrow so we'll also figure out prices to offer for those you get the idea so first up let's start talking about the abnormal skins let's start talking about what prices we might want to offer in terms of being able to pick them up at a fairly decent price but still be able to sell them for a fairly decent profit so Brutalist Garage Door. When we first saw this, we were a little bit surprised. Why is that? Take one look in the workshop and you can clearly see it's got a wonderful, ever so lovely window right there. It's got a lot of transparency. You can see through that. And with great thanks to Mr. Micro, he produced this video. And yeah, look at all of that. That is a very, very, very good view of what you can see. And let's just repeat that again. So, not only, not only is it see-through, it's also glow-in-the-dark. And if you did buy the Brutalist building skin, it does pair up quite nicely with it. So, yeah, there's some things that you can do with it. But regardless, see-through mesh garage door, we don't see a lot of those, do we? Well, we're actually going to see one next rust door tomorrow, but that's not the point. Main thing is, we're probably not going to see anything like this happen for a long time. Hopefully, I guess. We don't need to keep constantly keep seeing pay-to-win skins. This only did 27,000 bare minimum sales, apparently. I still have reason to believe there's a whole lot more out there. Remember, SEMM cannot track every single account. There's a lot of private accounts out there that like to buy a ton of skins. And well, you know, when they want to sell, you're going to notice it on the Steam market and on third party sites. So whilst you might see that there's only 28,000 sales almost, there's probably more out there. So let's just roll with the idea that there's about 30,000 of these. Serve Ginder, thank you very much for turning up. Um, I will... Uh, talk about that a little bit later. I'm doing abnormals first right now, buddy. So sit back and relax. So anyway, <clears throat> basically, we need to figure out what would be a good price to offer for this. This is a $4 skin, but based on what we've seen somewhat recently, uh, Rust skins haven't been doing super great. But if you've seen my recent, recent videos, you might notice how I've made a big fuss about that now is the time to jump in and buy, buy skins during October. Quite a lot of skins have now reached their lowest point and now they're starting to only go upwards. So we probably won't see that much of a disaster with skin prices, newer skin prices at least, for the meantime. So with the likes of this... I get the feeling it's probably going to emulate exactly what happened last week with the double sheet metal door that we had. Yes, this bombshell sheet metal double door came out last week and instantly had $2.50 as a buy order. Do you remember this? Well, I mean, just go look at last week's uh, abnormal buy order video. You can see it right here. The $2.50 buy order is still there. It's at 777 quantity now. The buy order was 800 So it seems whoever put this down did buy a decent amount of them. And they've essentially kept the price up. So this was a $2.49 skin. It did get close to $2.50 around here for the sales. But, you know, more buy orders started to appear. And the price has basically just been nice and steady. Only 46 on the uh, Steam market at the moment. And it doesn't look like it's going to go below $2.50 anytime soon. This is basically what I'm expecting to see of the likes of the Brutalist skin today. Expectations. Will they actually match up to what we saw with this? I can't guarantee it, all right? I can't guarantee it. But I do see the likes of this garage door having a very nice future ahead of it. Now, one of the main things that we made a comparison to was the bombshell uh, garage door. Yes, another bombshell skin right here. This is also selling for $4 at the moment. And we did query, right, so which one do you prefer? This right here or the Bruceless garage door? This only has 22,000 circulation, which you can see right there. 22,000 estimated total supply. There is a very decent chance this potentially will be higher priced than the likes of this Brutus Garage Door as time goes on. Because there's more of these in circulation, and at the very least, 
from what we just saw last week, there's other bombshell skins that exist. There's a collection there. But does that really matter? I mean, at the end of the day, you, you're buying this because of the pay-to-win aspects. Glow-in-the-dark and see-through mesh. So if it gets cheaper, then maybe more people are going to buy that one instead, regardless. <laughs> but with what we saw with this early this year, just a good few months back, this was selling for around $7, $8. Could this potentially rise back up and reach those prices again around January 2024 time? Maybe, but, you know, we do have competition now right here. So maybe they're both just going to probably rise up in price together. Maybe. We shall see. But I am expecting, in the long term, both of these skins going up in price. Okay, so prices we might want to offer. Looking at this, right? Looking at this, I get the feeling that we are going to want to do at least $2.50 and maybe even push it up to about $3.50. I get the feeling that we are very likely going to see the bombshell sheet metal double door situation all over again, as I've just said. So if you want to play extra safe, $2.50 should be totally fine. 30,000 sales isn't a ridiculous number anymore. If we're expecting the likes of 100,000 average player count during all of January, for example, 30,000 sales isn't that bad, especially for a very, very useful skin such as this. So, I do think something like that should work out quite alright. If you're one of the fastest people and putting down a $2.50 buy order, you should still be buying quite a lot of them. But I can imagine a lot of buy orders would be probably close to around $4. So if you want to be a little bit more aggressive, push up to about $3.50. But remember, we're trying to figure out a price in which you can buy these and still be able to sell them for a profit. And, well, $3.50 would be the answer. But if you're super confident that this is going to work out perfectly fine in the future, you're probably just going to do $4. And, hey, maybe you don't want to buy more of these from the, uh, the Rust store. You don't want the uh, quantity and circulation to rise up anymore. So maybe you're just thinking, you know what, I'll just buy them from the Steam Market instead. Fair enough, you do what you want to do. <laughs> but like I said, I'm still pretty sure there's a lot of accounts out there that are private that probably maybe have a thousand of these hidden away. And SMM cannot track every single Steam account. So that is my answer. $2.50 to $3.50. If you want to play extra safe, $2.50. If you want to play it a little bit more aggressive, $3.50. And we shall see what happens next. But there's a lot of interesting details of this. But we can only see what happens next to really start talking about what we could consider from then. So let's now move on to talking about the Thundergold Tier 3. Thundergold has sold very nicely. There was a lot of demand for this. And if you were to compare it to the previous uh, Tier 3 armors that we've had somewhat recently, San Rono only sold around 15,000. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's more, but apparently there's probably at least 15,000 sales for both of these pieces here. And then you look at the Redemption, and Redemption only sold about maybe upwards of about 15,000 each as well. So, as you can see, lots of people are appreciating Thundergold. And uh, we did make a bit of, a bit of a mention that the uh, Whiteout kilt actually went up in price uh, on the day that this came out. I wonder why. I wonder why. Because, you know, there's no kilt for it at the moment. The main question is, is will we see more Thundergold potentially appearing uh, as time goes on? Well, I wouldn't expect it this week. Because, you know, there was no submission over the past weekend for any continuations of Thundergold. And the weeks after that, we've ha we have Halloween Rust stores. So please keep this in mind. We very likely won't see any Thundergold until November. All right. And that shouldn't be surprising to any of you. That should be something you should be well aware of. But unfortunately, there's other people that exist. And other people, uh, <laughs> they tend to be ignorant and they tend to panic very easily. If they don't instantly see new continuations appearing, they uh, probably will be just unloading all of their stock on the Steam market. So that that's what gets me a bit worried, all right? Could we potentially see these dip below their Rust or price? I wouldn't be surprised. As I said, other people tend to be a little bit stupid. Yeah. So if you're wanting to play it a little bit safe, you know, I would at least say, based on the fact that we don't really see that many uh, white collections, and with the immediate impact of this selling very nicely, and I can clearly see demand was there, I do think this is going to have a nice future ahead of it. And we are aware, I'm not sure if it's actually been mentioned in the workshop, but the skin creators have confirmed that they are intending to continue this. All right. I mean, I mean of course they would. You know, it's sold a lot. Why wouldn't they? Always always expect, with core pieces, to expect more being made. But it's probably not going to be until November. Looking at these two, I'm wanting to say that maybe we could probably do like $1.80 as the safe buy order. And then, well, actually, no. No, no, pull it back, pull it back. Sorry, I, I, I misread the price. Sorry. <laughs> $1.50 as the safe buy order. 
and i think we can push up to two dollars maybe a little bit higher for the uh, stronger buy order all right that's what i will be doing i actually might be doing like two dollars twenty i will see but again maybe this instantly has some very strong buy orders and then maybe it looks perfectly fine to buy afterwards as well looking at the overall sales twenty thousand each isn't ridiculous compare it to with all the other face masks we had this year for example all the other tier three armor i meant to say so uh yeah we had the likes of ufo tier three doing like twenty two thousand sales uh, plus because i know chest plates sold a little bit less pizza did fifteen thousand hard suit did twenty two thousand there i remember reptile did do a little bit less pirate collection pirate collection that did like on average fifty thousand plus sales that was a budget blackout we can't really call this a budget whiteout because there's other white collections that already exist that are cheaper than this um it, we know abyss tier three is a little bit awkward it did thirty thousand sales but it's tier two armor only did um like twenty thousand at best so that's the whole can of worms but yeah i really do get the feeling that this is a perfectly fine amount i do think we're going to be seeing continuations down the line I do think they'll be accepted, and I do think everything will work out quite nicely for this in the end. So $1.50 to $2, maybe a little bit higher, maybe up to about $2.20 maybe. But after we've done the buy orders, I'm going to question whether I'm going to jump in and buy a whole lot more of them. So the mask is the 23rd highest selling if you rank by subs. That's a very good thing to bring up. Yes. Thank you very much, Mr. Micro. Yep. So we could also do a nice little, um, we could look at buy subs and uh yep so uh oh that's the wrong way around could i do i did lowest sorry there you go highest so white out of course <laughs> the highest selling but yep a fair bit below we have the likes of thunder gold right here and uh sorry just had something pop up right there so yeah there are some other things that have sold more but with the likes of this it could still perfectly rise up for us oh look you got no mercy right there that's another collection that was basically nearly all white it's white and black but you can still see it's mostly white so cool Things are looking good. I'm confident. Doing a good barter on them. But I have to wait and see what the support looks like afterwards to consider whether I'm going to jump in and buy some more. But like I said, you've got to wait until November. Sounds good. So let's now move on. Chameleon Sar. I am still sticking with the idea that this very likely will be going below its store price. Wouldn't be surprised in the slightest. So look at all the chameleon skins at the moment. Thompson's jumping back up a fair bit. Oh, that's interesting. In fact, let's just go take a look at you because I've made quite a fuss about Thompson skins all of this year. 100 yeah 99 quantity that's perfectly average two dollars fifty right there how much resistance you got a 17 there but after that it's just like one 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 two three one 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 got 11 there but eh, yeah no that could easily rise back up in price has it already reached its lowest point it actually does look like it's already reached its lowest point and that's probably around just the very end of september so yeah if you're looking for an investment look at that it looks like the lowest point right there and then since then, it's only been trending upwards very nicely, in fact. And I bought a whole bunch of them for a much cheaper price. So I'm expecting something very similar to happen with the likes of the uh, SAR right here. And then if we just point out all the SAR skins that came out this year as well, what do you see? They're all in the negative, unfortunately. I don't know why it's like this. SAR is probably one of the most used weapons in the game at the moment. It's awkward. I, I don't know. Maybe that's just showing you a very a uh, stark reminder of like the amount of people that currently aren't playing at the moment based on what we saw in july and compare that with what we see now yeah <laughs> but they will come back they will come back in december and well i'm pretty sure quite a lot of these will be going back up into the positive again exactly the same with the likes of this so i can sit here and say i'm confident that the chameleon collection will be turning into a much bigger collection as you can see right here with what mr milho frito has said yes i'm planning to make clothes armor but first i'm going to keep making more weapons so yes, we will be seeing even more weapons, and then down the line we'll be seeing clothing and armor being made, and I wouldn't be surprised if we also see the likes of deplorables. Doors, boxes, you get the idea. Basically the exact same thing as the Tempered Collection, which Mr. Milio Frito also made. So I'm confident that this is going to have a nice bright future ahead of it, but I can still anticipate that this is going to go below $2.49. But I think it's going to end up at around like $2. So that's what I'm going to want to do. $1.50 to $2 buy order. I want to pick these up at what I think will be their lowest price point. And then from then on, I can only expect it to go up and up and up and up and up and up and up from there. So I have to accept that if I put $2 down for it, I will be buying them, right? And I will also say, uh, don't say Millhouse, right? Shut up. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Other than that, um, yes, I'm confident with it, but I still expect it to go below its rust or price. Like, I fully expect it. It's still October, all right? We've still got a good three weeks of October, so just kind of respect that. And yeah, all right. So I'm, I like it. 
And you know, when loads of people return back in, uh, well, loads of people will be returning maybe at the end of December. They will see Weapon Rex or a DLC and they'll think, oh, cool. Uh, what's a cool looking collection that I could buy to uh, put on display, uh, which will look very cool to flex with? I won't be surprised the Chameleon's going to be one of them. So, yep. Yeah, so, I think you're going to have a nice future ahead of you, but it's going to be long term. And I expect in the short term, you're still going to go below your Rustle price a fair bit. That is why I'm going to do $1.50 to $2. Sounds good? Wonderful. Right, let's move on. We have the UAP Pilot Satchel. Now, this is going to be a bit of a problem. Why would you want to skin your satchel charges? <laughs> they explode. They're gone. You know, oh, cool. I, I spent like $2 on that and now it's disappeared. <laughs> no, don't worry. It doesn't disappear with the skin when it explodes. But what, what I'm saying is, is um, the actual item itself, you only ha like briefly, you know, own and then you put it on the door and then you go kaboom and then, oh, hey. Was that really worth putting the F in to put the skin on it? Do you understand what I mean? And that basic, that whole like thought process, like it's it, you know, you can see it all here. Look at the skin. Look at all the skins. Not a single one that's come out recently is in the positive. Uh, if you scroll down, yes, yeah, Satchelo, Satchelo's about four dollars, but most of them not good. And you have to go down to the rare ones to really see like a lot of them being in the positive. It's so unfortunate, but it is what it is, right? It, it, it is what it is. So if you're expecting this to be a profitable skin, unfortunately, I can't really, I can't really sit here and say yes. I wouldn't be surprised if this goes down to a dollar very quickly. I wouldn't be surprised in the slightest. We've even got the likes of the uh, satchel charge from hell right here. And unfortunately, yeah, two dollars forty nine came out last year, and well, <laughs> it's basically half in price at the moment. So the future of this is basically, yeah he's going to go down in price pretty sharply. I think I'm going to do like a 70 cent to 90 cent barter in this. Now, it it, it it counts as a clothing and armor skin, which is weird. I don't know why that is a thing. So it's not a weapon. It's a clothing and armor skin. But I do think the likes of about 90 cents might be its lowest point. I think that's probably where we're going to want to go with it. Because I should also point out the UAP pilot collection is a very weird collection at the moment. We've been seeing quite a lot of skins being accepted, and I have seen many skins being produced for it, because, well, they've also been accepted. But the main point I'm trying to get across to all of you is, for some strange reason, the deplorables are very low in quantity on the Steam market. I can see the sleeping bag starts to go back up in price, which is interesting. But what about the likes of the Furnace, which is currently only selling for $1.44 right now, but there's only 19 of them on the market, and there's next to no resistance. What about the likes of the door right here, which only has 50 quantity on the Steam market? Well, from what you can see here, no resistance again, and, well, there's only 50. Uh, hmm, there you go. And then, and now we have the sleeping bag. And this is now recovered. This is now above its rust ore price, and again, next to no resistance. What's Hedge trying to point out here? Well, I won't be surprised if we see even more UAP pilot skins. I would not be surprised in the slightest if we see even more UAP pilot skins being made and accepted. And I wouldn't be surprised if they're going to probably be deplorables all over again. And if we keep seeing a deplorable collection get more and more acceptances, the uh, older skins that were accepted previously most likely will be bought out and, well, they very likely will be going up in demand and up in price. So what do you reckon you might want to do there? I've said that for like past month now, haven't I? Well... I hope you've made some profits already, and if you hold out for a little bit longer, you might be making a whole lot more. So, things are interesting for the collection, but the satchel charge itself, I am not 100% convinced, I'm afraid. So, that's why I'm suggesting 70 cents, 90 cents. And with that, that was all the abnormal bioder prices. Uh, I hope you got that all written down, Mr. Maxim Chick. So, everybody who's in my server, uh, that's all been written down and will be, uh, uh, you know, listed. So, you can read into that if you've forgotten the prices. And now we need to go ahead and figure out the prices for the regular skins. Yes, I must reiterate, these skins that you see right here are the Artitsko SMG, the Ronin Road Sign Gloves, the Neanderthal Furnace, and the Concentric MP5. These are regular skins. They only become marketable when the Rust Ore rotates tomorrow. So, when we see the new Rust Ore appear, that is when they become marketable that is when we can start like refreshing on their pages and try and bother them as well so let's just jump straight into it arctic skull custom smg the main problem i have with it is the custom smg the weapon itself gun demand we have to keep this in mind if the weapon itself isn't exactly super in demand if it's not going to be used that much why would anybody care to buy a skin and use it because they well, keep it in mind if, the, if, if if it's not being used enough <laughs> how, how are the skins going to be used enough 
now you understand. So essentially, when you look at the likes of the Redemption Custom SMG, which came out very recently, uh, well, if that's down in price, and we knew this was an in-demand collection, what do you reckon is going to happen to the likes of this? It very likely will be going down in price, and based on what we see with these two, I wouldn't be surprised if it emulates the likes of these two and goes down to about a dollar. This is very much looking like a 70 cent to 90 cent buy order. Even the Blackout Custom SMG is below its rusted price. Only slightly, only slightly. It's a Blackout skin special, but yeah. Unfortunately... Yeah, it's it's a 70 cent to 90 cent buy order. It's the gun itself rather than the skin itself. Um, it is what it is. We see this all the time. So, yeah. It only did 10,000 sales. I know, I can see that. But even then, it's very likely will be going down to about a dollar. And I wouldn't be surprised. So, let's now move on. We have the Ronin Road Sign Gloves. This has done 9,000 sales bare minimum. Are there more of them in circulation? I cannot confirm that. But it does look like it's matched up closer to tier 2 armor. This will mean that this very likely will be a very nice investment. Basically, we are anticipating the arrival of the hoodie and pants at some point in November. I wouldn't be surprised if that gets made. I wouldn't be surprised if it's accepted. And I wouldn't be surprised if all of this spikes in demand, spikes in price. Including the gloves. So, a uh, point I'm trying to make is... I get the feeling that this is actually looking to be an interesting investment. You could potentially go ahead and buy them. Like, it's only done 9,000 sales, but I wouldn't buy tons of them. Maybe, a, you know, a, a, a sneaky 20 quantity or something. But with a good buy order, you could still pick these up for fairly cheaper. And then by time, you know, November rolls in, you probably picked up a decent amount of them. And then we see the hood in pants. And then you see these spike in price. And then you make profit. That's the ideal situation. So... Looking at this, it's a 99 cent skin. I think we can do buy orders of 75 cents to 85 cents. That's what I'm going to consider doing. I am looking at this considering, even considering like jumping in and buying them, but you know, it's not abnormal. So you have to kind of make a decision. Am I going to just stick with doing a buy order or do I want to actually go ahead and make a purchase? Like I said, just maybe like a sneaky 20 purchase might be fine. Regardless, this is a cool pair of red gloves. Get a good look at that. So flat color red. It's not like um, uh, corrupted, which is like kind of like holographic, holographic white tinge. You get the idea. You know what I'm about. It's just pure plain red with a cool uh, samurai style design. And yeah, I really do feel like a lot of people would be appreciating that by itself. But of course, with the likes of the armor that already exists. So cool looking stuff. Wouldn't be surprised if Bear Trip continues and makes the hoodie and pants in a good month or so time. But for now, that's what I'm suggesting. Um, you could go ahead and make a purchase or do a buy order of 75 cents to 85 cents. Sounds good. Let's now move on. Neanderthal Furnace. Right, this has not sold that much. But I'm also not too surprised because we've already had like tons of Furnace skins accepted this year. In fact, how much have we had so far this year in comparison to last year? 15 this year and last year we had 15. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see another Furnace skin being accepted this year. I wouldn't be surprised if we eclipsed last year. And basically you can look at all the skins here and here and here and you can see the vast majority of the furnace skins are not doing too good at the moment this basically happens every single year the only time furnace skins usually do all right is if it becomes a nicely established collection like uh, the abyss collection right here and from what we saw the likes of the porcelain collection earlier this year as well or if it's like a, a christmas theme skin and we're getting closer to christmas you can see snowman furnace is starting to rise up in price but yeah during the year all furnaces tend to just drop and not do very nicely which is unfortunate um um, but around post Christmas time, you do tend to see quite a lot of them rise back up in price and kind of sell for around just so you know, slightly above their rust or price. With the likes of this, I don't fully know. It is a collection, as you can see right here. We had recently had the Sleeping Stone. That's down 17%, unfortunately. This right here, I wouldn't be surprised if it basically goes down in price exactly like this as well. I wouldn't be surprised if this potentially goes down by at least a third. Like, it's going to probably go down to around a dollar. The question is, with the low sales that it has, could that potentially be manipulated at some point down the line? Maybe. I wouldn't, like, cross your fingers and hope for that. But what you could consider is, will we see more of this collection being made? Uh, Zinc, after seeing this getting accepted, instantly made this, and this was instantly accepted. If that sounds appealing to you, then maybe consider keeping an eye out and see what's happening next. Or at the very least, did you actually ask him and say, hey, Zinc, are you going to make more deplorables? Do -do -do. I can't read that. <laughs> I can't read that. Um, okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure they said some nice words. Let's just go with that. But I'm optimistic we very likely could be seeing some more Neanderthal skins. But you have to wait until November. And that's awkward. And I'll be honest with you, fully expect this to go below its rust or price. So with the likes of that, I think I'm going to probably do something like a 75 cents to 85 cents by order. That's what I'm probably going to do. Because I expect it to go down to around a dollar at some point.
Then we have the Concentric MP5. Uh, well, didn't sell that much either. So again, this is also potentially um, going to get manipulated. Again, no guarantees, but it could. And we do tend to see the lowest selling skins of a week from a rust store getting picked up and being manipulated at some point down the line. So it could happen in a month's time, two months' time, half a year's time, who knows. Do you want to buy them purely based on that? Probably not, but just kind of wanted to get that across to all of you. So Concentric Collection, it's a fair bit awkward. It's not exactly super in demand, but you never know. We might see the likes of some hoodie and pants being accepted this week. <laughs> well, I mean, that, no, actually, no, 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 because we have hoodie and pants as the charitable Ruskins this week, which we'll explain a little bit uh, in a little bit. But yeah, um, I don't know what's happening. Maybe you could see it in November. <laughs> we shall see. But um, hmm. with the likes of this, it's going to be a 70 cent, 90 cent situation. MP5s, unfortunately don't actually look like they went up in demand. We had the buff very recently, but I'm not seeing like a nice change in terms of price reflecting to the change in what we saw with the buff. It doesn't look like anything's changed, unfortunately. It's all good. And, uh, well, if the demand isn't super great for the MP5 still, then, well, 70 cents, 90 cents. It's unfortunate. But it is what it is, because this very likely will be selling for around a dollar at some point down the line. And that's what, it, you know, that's it. That's it. We've explained all the skins there. Uh, talked about uh, all the context that we could bring up. So, you know, we've got to do the abnormal barders next. But now we could consider talking about what we're expecting for tomorrow. So we hop over to here to the Twitch drops, because tomorrow we are going to see the reveal or rather the, uh, you know, the actual release of the Chart Charitable Rust uh, Twitch drops. Remember, it's for Charity Water this year, which you could see right there, Charity Water. We have five drops. You can watch any stream to be able to get these skins. So if you you could go to Rust, any stream on Rust uh, on Twitch, a, a, any stream on Twitch playing Rust, and you can get these skins. Two hours for that, four hours for that, six hours for this, eight hours for this, and ten hours for this. And of course, with tomorrow's Rust store, we already know that the MP5 here, the garage door, the assault rifle, and the hoodie are going to be on sale. Yes, yes, they're giving away the pants for free to entice you to want to buy the hoodie, which, you know, that's fine. That'll probably sell for $5, this will probably sell for $5, this will probably sell for $10, and this will probably sell for $5. Uh, just a little update in regards to the MP5. It has the same aim sights as the Redemption MP5 and the Blackout MP5. So if you're curious about that, just wanted to confirm, yes, it has the same aim sights as the Redemption and the Blackout. So just wanted to point that out very quickly. Cool. So, yep. Get a good look at all those skins. Yes, that double wooden door right there has transparency and it glows in the dark. So definitely something I'd consider chasing after. Um, you know, just watch streams. You, you get them eventually. So cool, 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 cool. Just wanted to point that out. And uh, we probably should be pointing out that we aren't 100% sure if we're going to have a rust store uh, where it's going to be a mix of charitable rust skins and like normal rust skins so we did have a tgg's top picks uh, this week as you can see right here we've got the likes of version 2 for blackout burlap very interesting version 2 for concentric uh hoodie and pants right there uh banana collection got a version 2 um what else could we potentially have oh i don't know maybe the redemption tier 2 maybe possibly we don't have any charitable rust armor skin so maybe 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 um maybe good boy tier 3 Maybe we see a continuation of the Moon Collection. Maybe we could potentially see a continuation of the Constellations Collection. Adobe Decorative Vending Machine, anybody? Um, maybe a door that could pair up very nicely with the uh, Brutal Skin. Well, I mean, we've already got the garage door. But yeah, maybe we could see more of that. Um, just give it a good look. There are no guarantees. I... I... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm actually stumped. Maybe... Maybe... I could actually point this out again. Because most of the Rust doors that we've had over the past month have mainly consisted of early picks, maybe, just maybe, for tomorrow's Rust door, if we do have normal skins with the charitable Rust skins, we'll see quite a few extra late picks. We, we shall see. But it probably would even out um, all the Rust doors that we've seen somewhat recently, because the vast majority of skins in every Rust door over the past month have been early picks. Early pick, early pick, early pick, early pick, early pick, early pick. Early pick. Early pick. Yep, it's mainly been like that. Like, uh, here's another one. Early pick, early pick, early pick, early pick. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, early pick, early pick. Yeah, yeah, you can see. <laughs> Basically, all those skins were accepted literally within the same week of being put onto the uh, Rust Workshop. So, 
Maybe tomorrow we get some skins that were, you know, submitted quite a long time back. Maybe it could be like a mini uh, complete the sets. Who knows? But I, I don't know. Like I'm, I'm <laughs> being copium, you know. But uh, yeah, just pointed to point that out. And uh, what we could also mention is Halloween skins. Yes, loads of Halloween skins are being submitted. The deadline is tonight, all right? So I'm pretty sure you've seen the likes of uh, this right here. Yep, the contest entries set up by TGG himself. We're up to 140 skins now. We were expecting about 150, but yeah, it's very likely going to eclipse that. So the deadline is tonight, and you need to be aware that October 19th and October 26th, are going to be Halloween Rustors, and all the skins are getting picked out of this pool of skins. All right, so we're going to have about 150 skins right here, and two Rustors will be comprised of out of all the skins from here. Uh, we shall see what that might potentially be. Ooh, what could it be? What could it be? Well, go take a look. Start, you know, <laughs> hoping. Uh, we've seen some notable continuations. We've got the likes of the Neon Pumpkin Armor Double Door right there. A second attempt because that was submitted last year but wasn't accepted, unfortunately. But maybe we could see it this year. Maybe, maybe. Who knows? Um, but yeah, I didn't make a Rust Workshop Skin Checks video this week, but I'm probably going to do one next week But because this isn't my list. I'm probably only going to focus uh, continuations and talking about what potentially could be an investment if it were to be accepted. But yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a weird one next week, but nothing to worry about right now. Please go and consider looking at all of these skins. And if you were to go to the main Rust Work... What, yeah, here you go. So I'm on the main page of the Rust Workshop. Hover over Browse, click Collections, and you will see the Halloween contest right there. Halloween contest list. And then there you are. And then just go through all of them, pick out some skins that you like. You know, vote for them if you really like to. Even consider hopping onto the skins pages, the comments, and saying, hey, this looks really cool. Uh, I just want to give you some props or something. You know, keep them nice and happy. Keep them motivated. Pat the skin creators on the back and say, you did a good job, you know. It helps them out. Keeps them motivated. And uh, we shall see if any of these skins are accepted. I guess I could probably sit here and say, uh, I've got this pair of leather gloves with Mr. Kua right here. He, uh, he did the poncho separately. It's a continuation of his... Um, uh, Disco Master. Remember the Cultist Disco Master that sold a lot last year? That was made by Kua. He's made a continuation with his poncho. And I was pushing him, saying, Look, you could submit something with the poncho, you know? And it's like, Really? And it's like, Yeah, make some leather gloves or something. You tend to see a lot of leniency with uh, holiday events. You tend to see some items that rarely ever get skins getting skins. And, well, leather gloves. We haven't had any leather glove skins for two years. So we shall see. Could we get Cultist Primitive skins? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. We shall see. So that, that was uh, a lot of talking. Uh, what's on the front page right now? Um, uh, come on, load up. Don't be scared. Don't be shy. Come on. You can work for me. You can work for me. It, uh, it, it's got stage right. Um, come on. What's going on? Why, why is it so scared? There you go. Oh, it broke. Wonderful. So yeah, Steam's a little bit awkward at the moment, if you haven't guessed. Oh, there you go. Right, cool. Oh, Redemption's on the front page. Oh, I've been logged out, apparently. I have no Steam wallet. That's lovely to see. It seems to have broken. Wonderful. Wonderful. So, oh, oh, there you go. It's all back to normal there. So, yeah. Keep an eye out for uh, all those potential investments. They're still out there. Lots of skins are still waiting to finally reach their lowest price point. And if you've got your money figured out, start considering making some moves. From here and now, most skins are only going to start going up and up and up and up and up and up and up in price. And, uh... Yeah, you get the idea. So that, we've uh, talked a lot. We've explained what prices we're going to offer to these skins, and now we need to go skip ahead to the actual buy orders. And with that... Right, gentlemen, it is now one o'clock. I am focusing Thunder Gold tier for... Oh, that was quick. And 1,590 buy orders. Well, that's, uh, yeah, that's a great start. 8,970 for the British character. Cool, cool. 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 <laughs> what do you even do? What do you even do? I don't know how to beat that. <laughs> I don't know what to do. How do I approach that? I knew something. Oh, God. What has happened today? <laughs> it's too ridiculous. I can't compete. I can't compete. Oh, no. Demoralised, saddened, depressed. I'm out of it. <laughs> Damn. Oh. <laughs> well, there you go. That was the buy orders.
We'll skip ahead and then we'll see what happens next because I think we just had a ridiculous amount of buy by orders, so. Right, gentlemen, so it's been about 11 minutes and all the skins, of course, <laughs> so they appeared, didn't they? Oh, mate, the amount of barters all of these skins have is ridiculous. So, yeah, you can see some prices in SMM already. Let's hop over to here and, well, let's just start discussing what we just saw. So, this has up to 4,000 buy orders. The chest plate has over 4,000 buy orders. And, well, we're going to notice a bit of a trend. Around $1.20, what do we see? Yep botted by orders all over again yeah so yeah that's still persisting but other than that let's look at the overall buy orders see how they're all nice and situated as you can see tons all over a dollar tons all the way up into one dollar fifty a very nice chunk all the way into and above two dollars this is a two dollar forty nine skin in its current position in its current position it looks reasonably okay to consider buying tomorrow. It has sold a very nice amount, but not a ridiculous amount. 20,000 overall, that's not too bad. In the grand scheme of things, this actually still looks like it's going to do very nicely in just a few months' time. So if this sounds somewhat comforting to you, if you are desperately in need to buy something, Thunder Gold kind of looks all right. I would actually consider making that a consideration. And like I said, just wait till November and you will see, well... Hopefully tier 2 are hoodie and pants. Got to be patient though. Other people very likely won't be. So that's one thing that you need to make a consideration on. But with the, uh, you know, aside from the botted buy order right there, it's still a whole chunk of buy orders and it's clearly showing tons of support. So yeah, this doesn't look like it's going to really crash and burn. Um, we're already starting to see a lot of skins like come out of their low points. We're seeing a lot of skins trending upwards now at the moment. Maybe this doesn't even dip that much. Maybe it just kind of like holds and then just goes up immediately. Again, something for you to consider. I spent a long time earlier talking about these and mentioned all the context. It's up to you now whether well, what you're going to do uh, now. Making the purchase or just sticking down an extra buy order. You could put down a $2.30 buy order right there. And I'll be honest with you, you probably would be able to pick these up. You probably would be able to. But other people might do that now because I mentioned it. So purchases should be right you've got maybe another <sighs> less than 20 hours to make that decision because i'm kind of thinking we might have an early rust door tomorrow i will explain that in a bit i will explain that in a bit but with this yeah on thursday you're probably watching this video now you need to make that decision it does look okay so the choice is yours all right 10,000 buy orders. So you might sit there and say, oh my god. Well, guess what? Botted buy order. <laughs> there you go. 7,500 around $1.20 again. Yep. So, why 7,500? I don't know. Also, if you understand like buy order amount and whatnot and how it adds up and whatnot, how are they able to afford this? How are they able to put down so much? I do not know. All right. So, let's just kind of make the, r remove that. I'd also probably remove this 600 as well because I don't think that's legit either. Yeah, we've got like 2,000 buy orders, somewhat legitimate buy orders. And as you can see, quite a lot of them all above a dollar. You've got a very decent amount up to $2 and you've got a fairly decent amount up to $3. But it stops at $3.50. So, what do you reckon is going to happen to this over the course of like the, maybe the next... Maybe the next 20 hours or so, like... Are you going to want to jump in on this? Are you going to want to put down a very strong buy order? Are you going to want to consider buying it instead? Well, as you can see there, someone's already listing theirs at $4.92. Things are looking a little bit questionable. Hmm. Maybe you are better off just doing a buy order. Look at this tomorrow. At, at, at the very least... <coughs> sorry. I lost my voice there. At the very least, I, want to, I would like to see what this looks like uh, in about 12 hours' time. And, well... If there's quite a lot of listings already, I'm sitting here saying if we or if we if we already see like a hundred listings after about twelve hours, I'm going to start questioning that because there might be far too many of these that are bought in excess. By excess, I mean people who bought them with the pure intent to sell. And with this now reaching four dollars thirty one already, well, there you go. I'm starting to expect that this very likely will be having big fat quantities put down here. And uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm actually a little bit worried about this. I don't feel super confident in it. Huh. Yeah, oh no, oh no. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. 
But things could change, you know. Maybe the uh, big fat boulders appear when the rust all rotates. Maybe they appear within the next 20 ish hours now. We shall see. But from what I currently see here, honestly, you could probably just put down like a $3 boulder and you probably would get them eventually. Because I'm one of the people who has a boulder above $3 and now I'm even starting to question it. $4.10. So now, uh, someone who just bought this for $4 is going to make a loss selling this. And they seemingly seem to be happy with that. Yeah. This is $4 in the Rustle right now. Someone's listed $4.10. They are going to have a loss selling that. So, well, that's probably an omen for the future. It probably will be having far too many of these in the Steam market. It very, very, very likely won't be holding its value. That's a little bit awkward. So, yeah, there you go. There you go. It doesn't look super great then. So, it probably, it'll probably be a whole lot worse by the time you're watching this video. So, yeah, cool. Uh, yeah, so what are you going to do now? <laughs> uh, yeah, I stick by my point. You probably could put down a $3 builder and eventually you'd probably be able to pick them up. So, moving on, we also have the likes of the Chameleon Sar. Yep, so this has a very decent amount of builders, but again, 2,100 botted builders around $1.20. <clears throat> So, we take that out of the equation, you still have about 1,800 builders, lots of builders leading up to a dollar, lots of builders above one dollar, lots of builders all the way above one dollar fifty and up to two dollars. So, essentially, my guesstimate, my uh, my uh, my estimate earlier, I was like, you know what, I can still imagine this going down to about two dollars. If you can accept that, you will have to accept that you will be buying these for two dollars. However, post Christmas. People are going to notice those weapon racks. People are going to look for interesting collections that don't cost too much. Very likely going to see some of the newer skins that came out. And they're going to see a chameleon collection. And there's going to probably be a whole lot more weapons accepted by then, you know, December time. So I really do feel like the collection as a whole is going to do a pretty good job. And I wouldn't be surprised if they do get bought out post-Christmas time. How high will they go? I don't know, but I expect the SAR to go higher than $2 at the very least. Yes, it's got a very useful aim sight. It's got a very nice sheen and holographic design to it, much like the other skins. So I'm optimistic for it, but again, I still expect it to go below its rust door price. It's very likely to go below $2.50, so we shall see what happens next. But the builders do look like they're going to keep it at least around $2. So if you want some and you don't want to spend $2.50, well, why not put down like a $2.15 or $2.20 builder? Get them for 30 cents cheaper. I wouldn't be surprised if you do pick them up. All right, sounds good. Let's move on. UAP Pilot Satchel, $2 skin, and, well, the uh, builders aren't. <laughs> They're not going near $2, yep. So, uh, the 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 bulk builders there, yep, 25 that's the last one, only up to $0.93, cents, and that's me. So, yep, loads of builders below $0.70, cents, and then hardly any of them above $0.70. Cents. I don't think many people are super invested into the likes of that, are they? That's a fair bit awkward, isn't it? And uh, botting, well, I don't think we got botted there. But yeah, it's a satchel charge. We kind of understand that the uh, the situation with those is, well, why would you even want to skin them? Yeah. But anyway, yeah, that's not retaining its value. So out of all these skins, I guess maybe Thundergold's probably the uh, most promising thing to consider buying tomorrow. Thursday, that is. So when you're watching this video. But um, I did allude to the idea that we very likely might have an early rust or rotation tomorrow. So let's just quickly hop on to over to here and let's now go over to here. So we did mention earlier we are aware that tomorrow is going to have these skins in the Rust store. These are going to be your charitable Rust skins. They're going to be fairly pricey, but all proceeds go to a good cause, Charity Water this year. But I get the feeling with these coming out at a set time, as you can see right here, it's listed right there. Maybe they want to release the skins at the same time as well. It's just an assumption. Maybe. 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 So that would mean this is... If this is coming out at 7 o'clock UK time tomorrow, maybe these appear around the same time. I wouldn't expect earlier, but at least somewhat near 7 o'clock UK time so I'll be you know streaming tomorrow if you look in the description you'll see the link to my uh, Twitch feel free to hop in tomorrow we'll be discussing the new skins and we'll be discussing uh, what could potentially be a nice profit um, but yeah that's like basically it we know four skins that we're going to get tomorrow I won't be surprised if we get an extra eight if we don't uh, well <laughs> no no um no profits to be made because all of these skins that you see right here are going to be non-tradable, non-marketable. 
So yeah, it might look nice, but non-tradable, non-marketable. So be aware of that. Rustified have free drops too. Do they? I uh, I have forgotten what they are. <laughs> I have forgotten what they are. What were they? What were the drops? What did Rustified have as well? I actually don't remember. I actually don't think I fully know. Um, damn, I don't know. Um, well, I'll tell you what you can do. Uh, you could look at the Twitch drops section here, but they're not listed. All I see are the regular Twitch drops. I don't know what the charitable Rust ones are going to be. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. Thanks for, thanks for mentioning that, though, uh, digital content. So I guess we'll find out. Um, maybe the uh, charitable... Uh, maybe the um, the Rustified ones only appear when it's the Charitable Rust weekend, which is, of course, this weekend. So please consider donating for a good cause. You know, all skins that you buy tomorrow, or not all of them, the Charitable Rust skins also contribute to this, I believe. So, uh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, consider doing that. Consider watching the event over the course of this weekend. And, uh, yeah, like I said, it's all for a good cause. Everybody deserves to have access to uh, clean water. And, uh, oh, hello, what's this? Right. Aha! Wait, what? Uh, and how long ago was this? Oh, mate. <laughs> 2020, you fool! Oh, digital content. Oh. <laughs> Those were the first Twitch drops. <laughs> <laughs> Those were the first ever Twitch drops. The more you know. So <laughs> you got me all confused. I was like, really? No. Oh, damn it. Right. Anyway, anyway. Do consider looking at the Halloween skins. Uh, I believe all of them will be listed here by tomorrow. I mean, we could mention it again tomorrow anyway, because the deadline is tonight. Uh, what is it? October 11, 11.59 PST time zone. Yep. So, cool, 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 cool. And uh, do consider looking at TGG's top picks list. At to, to pick. Okay, anyway. <laughs> yep, consider reading for all of these. Get a good idea of what potentially could be picked. Are we going to see all the skins being picked from here? Or are we going to see some extra late picks? I don't know. But next to nobody uh, uploaded... Um, some normal types of skins. All the skins this week have basically been Halloween skins. So just keep that in mind. I don't really think we're going to have any early picks this week. I'd be very surprised. All right, cool. So with that, um, I don't think there's much else to uh, talk about. I will just reiterate, keep an eye on the uh, commits. Like, it really does look like base decoration. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's base decoration. Base deco DLC uh, is very likely going to be appearing for November. We've got rocking chairs, we've got trophies, um, track horse breed with trophy, display appropriate breed. Oh, there's another one. Uh, yeah. So there's a lot of interesting things. And, of course, we've already mentioned that um, there's some interesting Halloween notes. Ghost sheet, Dracula mask, Dracula cape, vampire steak. So we are all well aware of this and we've known about it for a fairly long time. Also, M39 might be getting a bit of a buff. Apparently you can have an extra slot, an extra attachment to put onto it. So yeah, keep an eye on all of this. It keeps you informed and well, you know, if you are aware of a new content that's coming out or, you know, things getting upgrade, upgrades and whatnot, if they're related to skins, you can be one of the first people to jump in and make a very, very smart investment and potentially make some sweet, delicious looking profits. The front page mostly consists of white out with some forest raiders over there. Very nice. Very cool. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. We have said everything we needed to say. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. So I am somewhat under the impression that we might have an early rust or tomorrow. Um, so uh, not like early, early, but like seven o'clock in the evening, UK time. So yeah, when the Twitch drops release, I think it's going to be fairly close to that. So if you can get your time zones matched up with the UK, I'm expecting it to be seven o'clock in the evening, UK tomorrow. Cool. Cool. Awesome. So with that, thank you very much for watching me. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you all enjoyed yourselves. Have a lovely day and uh, let's see what gets picked tomorrow. Is it going to be a rust door? consisting of charitable rust skins with some normal skins as you can see like last year or is it going to be a rust store consisting of just the charitable rust skins which what we saw for 2021 i really hope it's not like this <laughs> right so thank you very much and uh, catch you all later see you